So you've probably heard of the company TiVo. You've probably even used the word, I want to TiVo something, which just means record it and play it later. So you'd think that TiVo was a huge commercial success, but it turns out that TiVo was actually a huge commercial flop. They launched with great funding and lots of fanfare. Everybody kind of knows the name and knows what they do, but nobody ever really kind of bought the product. This, after five years of being on the market, there's a crazy stat that says that American homes have more outhouses than they do TiVo machines, right? How is this possible? How is a company like TiVo that we all understand such a commercial flop? Well, the reason is because they, when they launched their product, they talked all about the features, how it paused TV, rewind TV, how fast it did it, what the download speeds were, all of these things that were talking about how great their product was. But they weren't connecting with a deeper why for their customer. Why is this going to benefit me or alleviate some frustration that I have? Now, compare that with Apple, who launched the iPod to great success, right? And it kind of charged them to being the biggest and most profitable company in the world at one point. When they launched the iPod, they simply had marketing that said, a thousand songs in your pocket. Now think about that. It's all about the end user, what solution it gives the, the customer, and it paints a nice picture that, that you can understand. So you can think, oh my goodness, you mean I could have just like a thousand songs walking with me in my pocket, I don't need to bring, you know, bring this big clunky disc man or CD around with me. If you compare those two things, then you'll start to understand why you want to talk about the benefits of your product or service, not the features. Because the benefits are what your customer cares about and the benefits are why your customer buys. All right, so in the next video, we're going to talk about how to hone in on those benefits, not the features, and use those benefits to build a benefit bridge where you bridge your customer from their problems to your solutions.